today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're on a volcano! And little does my friend Smirky know that I have this entire one-way glass wall set up. This means I'll be able to see exactly what my friend spawns, and I'll be able to spawn the exact counters to them. This is gonna be so crazy. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, and I'm totally gonna destroy you. Wait, uh, why are my skeletons on fire? Smirky, we are literally on a volcano. It is so hot here that if you place the wrong mobs, they will literally burn to death. Instead, you have to spawn in lava mobs. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Well, I guess now I'm ready for the mob battle. All right, then let the mob battle begin. And also, let's just take a second to admire our environment. There's a massive erupting volcano right there. And the sky is quite literally turning red because it is so hot in this place. Anyway, since the mob battle has started, we can just look through this one-way wall to see exactly what Smirky's gonna spawn in. It looks like he has a zombie spawning in his hand. Wait, is he just placing zombies? These are literally just gonna burn. Did he not just learn anything from the start right there? Look at him. He's like super sad that all of his zombies are burning. What is he? thinking. If he wants to spawn mobs like zombie, he's gonna have to put like ice armor on them or something like that or else they're all just gonna burn like all of those just did and I think that might be what he's doing right now. He's building some sort of glass box so I'm wondering what his plan is here. Oh my gosh and I was definitely right. He just put some ice armor on them and now these zombies should be 100% safe from how hot it is here. Because they're wearing ice armor, it's gonna keep them nice and cool in that big set of armor. But that's actually perfect for me because if I can spawn in a super powerful powerful fire mob, it'll be able to melt the ice armor off of these zombies, and then they'll start to burn just like normal again. And of course, there's only one fire mob that is gonna do the job that well. And it is the giant Ignis Nether Fortress Giant. I don't even know what to call this thing, because it is just so OP. This guy should definitely have enough fire attacks to melt the armor right off of these zombies, and they will 100% burn. And actually, I kind of want to test that out a little bit. I'm gonna go right here to test this thing real quick. So if we spot a zombie right here with the ice armor, I'm wondering if we set it on fire just like this, how long will it take for this armor to melt? I'm just gonna count one, two, three, and wait, wait, the armor already broke. And oh my gosh, it's burning. Yes, okay, so it is 100% proven that fire will melt all the armor off of those zombies, and it's literally just gonna make the zombies burn just like that. And oh my gosh, it's already dead. So Mr. Ignis, you are going to be super, super, super powerful against these zombies. And anyways, how is your army going, Smirky? Because I think I might have spotted a super powerful first mob. Oh, my army is really good, and I spotted something pretty normal, but I gave it really, really good armor. Wait, Smirky, what did you spot in that was normal? Wait, let me take a guess. Well, what's the most normal mob in Minecraft? It's probably a zombie, and I do hear, like, growls on your side. Did you spot zombies? Uh, yes, but they aren't normal zombies. Wait, what do you mean they're not normal zombies? Wait, you said you put armor on them. I think you put, like, ice armor on them or something. Um, yes, I did. How do you know? Yeah, actually, how do you know that? that that's impossible to know. Smirky, it's because if you put any other armor on them, then they die of heat exhaustion. So you have to put ice armor on them to keep them nice and cold. Bro, how do you know that? Okay, whatever. Well, I guess you can drop the walls. Okay, Smirky just said we can drop the walls and this is gonna be literally so funny. He's gonna have no idea how I spotted the exact counter. Let's drop the walls in three, two, one, and the battle has begun. What the heck? Wait, what did you spawn in? This is kind of similar, honestly. Smirky, what do you mean? I just spawned a giant fire knight and he is so powerful. He's literally going to melt the armor off all of your zombies. Uh, yes, he is doing that already, and a lot of my zombies have died. What the heck? I know, a bunch of zombies have died, but their armor should start melting very soon, because his attacks are so crazy. Yes, I think it is melting, because a lot of them are dying. And wait, Swiggy, look, all the armor broke on your zombies, I think. What the heck? How? My game plan actually worked, and now that all of their armor has melted, they are dying just from the heat of how hot it is at this volcano. What the heck? I don't have any zombies left now. Smirky, but there's some rotten flesh here. Does that count as a zombie? Uh, no, it doesn't count as a zombie. What am I talking about? Yeah, obviously it doesn't count. Yeah, oh my gosh. We just need to go on to the next round, I think. All right, Smirky. Well, I just won the first one, so you need to step up your army a lot next time. And there we go. I have just reset the arena, and I have officially won the first round. But do not leave yet, because I have some super duper funny pranks that I want to pull out Smirky for these next rounds. And to start it off, we just gotta look through this one-way glass wall again and see exactly what he's gonna spawn 
it. And wait, what are these things? Wait a second. I think Smirky's trying to improve on his army from the last round. He's spotting in these zombie sort of things, but it looks like they are covered in stone, so they're not gonna get set on fire at all. That is actually really, really smart on Smirky's behalf, or maybe these are like lava zombies. I don't even know what these are, but they seem very powerful. So since he spotted in his own fire mob, I think I need to spot in my own fire mob, and I'm gonna spot in something so, so much better than these plain old zombies. And the mob I'm gonna spot in is called a netherite monstrosity. This thing is the ruler of the nether, and he is very, very suitable for this volcano environment we're in. And he may just look like a bunch of blocks, but when you hit him, he will actually come alive, and oh my gosh, look at him when he wakes up. His body literally turns to lava, and he has some massive claws that will smash all of these zombies. And that's not even to mention how his body is made out of netherite, meaning this will literally never burn. Like, for example, if you go to survival mode near this guy, I gotta show you his attacks. So one of his attacks is he literally just shoots lava at you, and oh my gosh, wait, I'm burning alive. Wait, can I go? Oh, I was gonna go in creative mode, but he is way too powerful. I could not believe he literally just spit lava out of his mouth like that. That was so crazy and so, so overpowered. Mr. Netherite Monstrosity, you will definitely be good enough to kill these lousy old lava zombies and smirky spot that he has no idea what's gonna hit him. And I think we should probably spot like two of these guys. I mean, one is probably powerful enough, but I just want to decimate his army so hard that he is not even gonna stand a chance. So let's wake that guy up and we officially have two netherite monstrosities now. But you see, the thing is, I don't only just want to spot in these guys. We're already cheating with this one to a glass, so I think it'll be 100% fine to cheat with some other stuff too. And the way I am gonna cheat is with these three dynamites. I have the fire dynamite, which sets everything on fire, and that will do a lot of damage to Smirky's mobs. I have the physics dynamite, just which just makes giant explosions and make the block fly everywhere. And I even have the volcano dynamite, which I'll throw on this volcano just like that. And you see what this does? It literally shoots out a bunch of volcano TNTs, and that is actually really cool. Look at how much explosions it made. So with all of these dynamites, I'm literally just gonna throw up at Smirky's mobs during the middle of the mob battle, and it's just gonna be really, really OP on top of how OP my mobs are. Anyway, Smirky, how is your army going? Because I think mine is 100% complete. My army is also 100% complete. Like, my army is so much better than it was last round, I think. Oh, you think your army's better than last round? I guess those things are better than last round. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, Smirky, I can hear, like, zombie sounds, but they sound a little more powerful than normal zombies, so maybe you spotted some, like, lava zombie or something? Um, how do you know that I didn't spot in mutant zombies? Because the mutant zombies would literally just burn. Did you forget that it's super hot here? Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Wait, what if I gave them, like, ice armor? That's smirky. I know you did not do that. And anyways, I think we should just drop the walls and let our armies fight. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, we should do that. Let the walls drop in three, two, one, and there we go. Would you look at that, smirky? Look at my mobs. What are these? Whoa, these guys are so strong. I know, Smirky, they are massive netherite monstrosities, and look at the attacks, they're throwing your mobs everywhere. What the heck? That just killed, like, 20 of my mobs at a time. I know. Okay, I just went to be, and I gotta start using these dynamites to just trolling Smirky a bunch. I'll throw some of these, and look at this, Smirky, there's a ton of explosions everywhere. Oh, I see that. How is this happening? What the heck? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, this is actually crazy. I think my mobs are just super powerful. How are they this powerful? There are literal me. Years. Uh oh, I think the volcano's erupting. Cardi, we gotta get in a shelter. Uh, <laughs> Smirky, uh, I, I don't think the volcano's erupting. I think we'll be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we are in creative mode. Yeah, that was just my mob's attacks being super, super OP. And, and Smirky, you saw how OP these guys are. My mobs are just gonna get stronger as the video goes on. So you need to get some way stronger mobs. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess I can get a really, really good mob then. All right, let's reset the arena and we'll see. And there we go. Oh, yeah, another win for me. This is getting way too easy, but it's gonna be even funnier, and I think we should just chew with this one-way glass once again, and what is he gonna spawn this time? I see him just standing there. I bet he's choosing a mob that he thinks is gonna be really powerful, but in reality, it's probably gonna suck, and oh my gosh, what are these things? He's spawning in some sort of dragon. These things are pretty cool looking, I'm not even gonna lie, and they're definitely better than those zombies he's spawning, so I think he's improving a little bit with his mob choices. But the thing is, I wanna spawn in my own own dragons that are 1,000 times bigger than these guys and 
1,000 times more powerful than these guys. And I actually have three dragons that I want to spawn in. But the first one I'm going to spawn in is this giant three-headed dragon monster. This guy can literally spit out like three things of fire all at once. But like I said, we're actually going to spawn in three dragons. And this is only the first one. I got the other two dragon spawn eggs. And the second one I'm going to spawn in is literally called a fire dragon. And look at how big he is. He's just a normal dragon compared to that one. But he is super duper cool. And this guy's fire attacks, I'm pretty sure, are even a little more powerful than this guy. Even though this guy looks very cool. So we should probably spawn like two of these guys. And wait, oh, I just spawned a really tiny baby one. You are not going to be useful. I need to spawn in another one. And there we go. This one's a bit bigger. And last but not least, I'm going to spawn in something called the Queen Dragon S. And this guy is massive. And he has a huge mouth with a bunch of sharp teeth inside. Its attacks are also very, very, very powerful. So I'm just going to spawn this three-headed dragon back in. I want to go in survival mode and see how long I can last against all of these guys. And oh my gosh, they're literally attacking each other. But uh oh, I'm getting killed. Oh, I, I just died so fast. Smarky, how is your army going? Because I think I spawned the best dragon mob ever for my side. Oh, my army is going so good. But Cardi, I think your dragon is destroying the wall. Wait, what? The mob battle starting. Wait, let me set this to air. And the mob battle has officially begun. Let's go and what the heck? How did we both spawn in dragons? Or I don't know if mine are dragons, but... So, Marky, I think yours are dragons, and they're just really, really, really weak dragons compared to my fire dragons. Wow, how are my dragons so weak, though, Cardi? They, they literally just fell off the arena onto the volcano. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny, and look... Wait, have I already won this round of the mob battle? I don't see any of your dragons here for some reason. I think you've already won this round of the mob battle, Cardi. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I didn't know I'd win that fast. And wait, I didn't even have my main boss guy. I was supposed to have this giant three-headed dragon, but I guess he died before the round started. Oh yeah, Cardi, I see his head on the floor over here. Oh my gosh, if I had this guy, that would have been even faster. And anyways, I think we should probably just move on to the next round. Yeah, we probably should. And there we go, yet another win for me. We are literally winning every round, and I think we gotta move on to this next one right now. So what is Smirky gonna spawn this time? And wait, what? What is he spawning in? Wait, he's spawning in these crazy lava monster things? Wait, wait, wait. I have no idea how we're supposed to counter these things. I've never even seen them before. Wait, let me just get really close to one-way glass and maybe we'll be able to hear Smirky. Well, good thing for me, these mobs are really, really good and I feel like Hardy won't figure out what the counter to you all are because uh, it is kind of weird. And for whatever reason, you guys don't like snakes, right? Wait, did I just hear Smirky say exactly the counter for these mobs? He just said the counter for these guys are snakes. And I'm guessing he probably doesn't want me to spot in giant snakes. So, of course, I'm going to spot in some giant snakes. I know two very, very, very powerful snake mobs. And one of them is called the Hydra. This guy has a bunch of heads. As you can see, he has three heads. And the thing about this is I'm pretty sure it's impossible to kill him. Like, if I take a netherite sword and try and kill this guy, it literally will not die. Look, I'm just hitting it over and over with my best hits. And all it does is literally just get more heads ever every time you hit it. Like, look, it has four heads right now, and if I keep hitting it, it destroys one of the heads, and then it will grow back as two heads. Now it has five heads. This thing is so OP. So let's just spot a couple of these guys all around the arena just like this. And there we go. We got some green ones, and we got some red ones. And then my second giant snake mob I'm gonna spawn is called a Naga. Now, as you can see, this thing is super crazy, and wait, where is its body? I think it only spawned in its head for some reason. What is going on? Wait, I gotta kill this. I think it's fighting all my other mobs. But don't worry, I'll spawn that in right before I drop the walls, and we'll be able to have the best snake army ever. I just look at the head it dropped. That looks so scary. But if you remember just a few rounds ago, I actually cheated by grabbing a bunch of dynamite and just throwing on Smirky's army. And I think I want to do the same exact thing in this round. Well, not the same exact thing, because this time I'm actually just going to grab really, really OP lava weapons. And the three weapons I'm going to grab are the incinerator sword. Look at how big this thing is. When you hold right click with it just for a few seconds and let go, it should shoots out these crazy fire flame particles, and this is gonna be super crazy to kill all of these giant mobs Smirky spawned in. But then I also have this gun called the Demon Buster, which shoots out a bunch of lava pellets, and will just destroy these just like that sword. And then, of course, I have the Flesh Eater Sword, which when I right-click, literally shoots 
shot a wither skull and oh my gosh i am literally a wither right now i can shoot at wither skulls and that's not even to mention how much damage this thing does it does literally 27 which is so much so anyway smirky how is your army going wait 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 don't even tell me i think i want to take a guess at what you spawned um okay well take a guess i guess smirky i literally have no idea what i'm hearing right now so i'm just gonna say something completely random i bet you just spawned in like a big pile of red stuff with eyes and i, I don't even know is that right um cardi how, how do you know what the heck wait smirky did i actually guess that right that is so crazy that i guessed that how can you even hear a color, Cardi? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I hear a color. I'm just really, really lucky, I guess. Uh, what? You could have said any color, like purple or green or like, I don't know, maroon. Smirky, I would not say any of those colors because I know your mobs are none of those colors. Anyways, you should probably spawn more than that because it looks like you only have like five. You're going to need a lot more. Oh, okay. I will then. Okay, so I just want to mute. It's Smirky spawning a bunch more of these guys. But like I showed at the beginning, these guys literally truly cannot die. So it doesn't matter how many he spawns, I will win no matter what. All right, then, Smirky, you're 100% ready, right? I think I want to drop these walls. Yes, I am 100% ready. And there we go. The walls have dropped. Did you see what I spawned, Smirky? I have no idea what you spawned. What the heck are these things? Wait, Cardi, I know what these guys are. They are snakes. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Smirky, I spawned in the exact how to jerk things, I think. How did you know to spawn in snakes? Do you know the chances of that. Sparky, that is really, really, really low chances. I told you, I'm just getting super lucky today. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, if you're getting super lucky, I guess I'm just gonna lose. Oh my gosh. And I just put on mute, and just to speed up this process a little bit, I'm gonna start using my OP fire weapons. Let's use one of these guys, get this sword charged up, and then let go. Look at this fire. And then I'm even gonna use this demon buster gun. I'm just shooting all these guys. Let's go. And then, of course, we gotta use the wither skull sword and just hit these guys let's go let's kill all of them i'm helping out my mob so much by just like one shotting all of them let's go and smirky do you see how fast all of your guys are dying this is so crazy oh yes i see how fast they're dying this isn't good yes this is actually very good smirky because i am winning right now i can't believe you're winning oh my gosh i still don't get how you got so lucky that you spawned a snake i know and it's not just any snake it's snakes with five Five heads, which does five times the amount of damage. Okay, well, my mob has, uh, one, two, three, four heads. Yeah, it has four heads, which is one less than my five head snake. That means I win. Oh my gosh. You are gonna win. This isn't good. And there we go. After a little bit of time, there's only one of your mobs left, and my red snake is just decimating it right now. How is it just decimating it? I don't get it. Come on, red snake, you got this. And there we go. I just won the mob battle officially, but Smokey there's still one more round. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I can still make a comeback, so I guess I'll spawn in a very good thing. All right, Smirk, if you're gonna spawn in a very good thing, go luck, because I'm gonna reset the arena. Let's go. And there we go. I just won that round once again. And for this next round of the mob battle, it doesn't even matter what Smirky spawns, because I have my best mob yet in store. It is going to one-shot whatever he spawns in. Wait, he's spawning his mobs in now. He spawned in the giant nether scourge, and he is so powerful. And look at this guy. This guy can do so much damage with a single hit. And normally, this would be really bad for me, considering it is so OP. But like I said, I have a very, very powerful mob. So I guess I should just spawn it in. Let me grab the spawn egg real quick. There we go. And it is literally just called Red. That is literally the name of the mob. And you are about to be very scared, probably. I'm gonna spawn it in in three, two, one. One and oh my gosh, what? Oh, look at the sky. It literally turned a super dark red when I spawned this thing in. What? This thing is insane. This is literally the king of the volcano. And this is going to be so powerful for this mob battle. And look, everywhere it walks, at least behind this red trail. Oh my gosh, this stuff is scary. It's even very, very high quality for some reason. Mr. Volcano God, you are about to make me win this mob battle so, so good. But I think I just kind of want to go super duper overkill. I'm just going to spawn like a thousand of these guys in everywhere I go. Look at this. I am literally spawning in. Wait, can I count all of these? It looks like there's like 20 here. 20 of the most powerful mob in Minecraft is going to be insane against that single nether scourge. Anyways, Smirky, um, I think you should just give up already. I don't think 
think there's any way you win. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Why would I give up? Smirky, because that single nether scorch is not nearly enough to defeat all of my things. Wait, how do you know? Uh, Smirky, I can hear the nether scorch, obviously. And it doesn't even matter how I know, because we are about to drop the walls and let the last round start. I don't even know how you know to hear that thing or whatever. <laughs> okay, you are so confused, Smirky. Let's just drop these walls. And there we go. The battle is beginning. Let's go in. What the heck are these? Why is the sky red? Smirky, these are the rulers of the volcano, and they are about to destroy your nether scourge. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. And look, they're even spotting in little minions to fight for them. What the heck? These things are creepy. Yeah, they are really creepy. Yes, Ricky, and uh, where's your nether scourge? Look, it's right there, and I think it's taking so much damage right now. Oh, my gosh, it is. That's not good at all. And, oh, uh, uh, Smirky, wait, I think I just saw it die somewhere in there. Wait, I think it died. I got all its loot. What? How? Smirky, that was a little bit embarrassing. You spotted a mob so powerful, and yet it was nothing compared to mine. Yeah, your mobs are weird. Why do they look like this? Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. Wait, we gotta kill these guys before they corrupt our world or something. Uh, yeah, I agree. All right, Smirky, I just reset the arena and killed all those mobs, and we can do our outro, but, uh, uh, Smirky. No, Cardi, we can't do our outro. What is this? Smirky, uh, that's weird. I think the game's glitching and it put glass on my side of the arena. Yeah, but when you right-click this glass, it turns to bedrock. Oh, that is, uh, really, really weird. Uh, don't look at the other side. Why? I, what? What the heck? What? Wait, this is actually so weird. Wait, what were you using this? Smirky. <laughs> okay, since I've already won, I gotta admit something to you. I was just using this one-way glass the whole time to cheat. Cardi, there's no way you win if you were cheating. What the heck? Okay, I guess you're right. Cheaters do not deserve to win. I will give you the win since I feel a little bad for using this. Let's go! Thanks, everyone, for watching the video, and please make sure to subscribe and click the video on the screen, and subscribe! <laughs>